Hello all, this is Anish with you. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to create two projects. One REST API server and one MVC API client. Let's see the demo of the projects which we are going to create in this tutorial. The right side project is REST API server and the left side project is MVC API client project. The source code of both the projects are available for download. This API server has two API methods. One is to get the weather forecast for the next five days and the second one is to get the weather forecast of the last five days. Both the methods will return the results as a JSON string. Let's first copy the API URL from the REST API server using the Swagger interface. After that, let's paste that API URL in our API client project. And then, let's click the create button. Here we go. We got the response from our API server. I mean the weather forecast for next 5 days. So, our API server project and the API client project are working fine. Now, let's see how the project is done from the scratch. Start Visual Studio 2022 and then select create a new project from the side menu. After that, from here, select ASP.NET Core Web API project template from the side menu. Then after, press next button and give the name of the project as MVC API Server and then save this project in the C colon slash. After that, press the next button. In here, select the target framework as .NET 6.0 and leave the authentication type to none and then set the checkbox labeled as configure for HTTPS as checked. After that, set the checkbox labeled as use controllers also to checked. Then set the checkbox labeled as enable open API support to checked. This is because we are not using any JWT security tokens as of now. Later we will add the support for JWT tokens. After that, click the create button and wait for the scaffolding task to complete creating the project. Ok, now the project is scaffolded successfully. Open the solution explorer from the view menu. Then expand the controllers folder and open the weather forecast controller file. Please notice this file. This has annotation called as API controller in the head of the class name. This makes the class as an API controller. This class has only one method named get. And this get method is an API method. And this method also has a HTTP get annotation. And API name is set as get weather forecast so that this method can be accessed by calling by the name get weather forecast. That's it, our first API is ready. Let's build and run the application. This is the Swagger window. Earlier we were using Postman to test our APIs, but from .NET 6 onwards, Microsoft has added the Swagger support to the ASP.NET Core API project. In case if you are wondering what is Swagger, Swagger is an open source set of rules, specifications and tools for developing and describing RESTful APIs. The Swagger framework allows developers to create interactive machine and human readable API documentation. And now click on the get button to expand the API drop down window and then click the try it out button. This will make the execute button and the parameters needed to call this API visible. But this API method does not have any parameters. Th that's why it displays no parameters. 
Ok, let's click the execute method to call this API. Perfect, we got the response from the API as JSON string. Then now I will show you how to call this API from our API client. I mean from any external program, not from the Swagger window. First, download the API client project source code from the displayed URL. In case if you want to see the tutorial on how this API web client was made, the YouTube link is in the description. Please watch it. After downloading the source code zip file, extract and open the project using Visual Studio 2022. And then build and run the project. Please wait till you get the home screen of the project. This is the home screen of the project. In here, click the create new button. This is the API web client screen. The beauty of this screen is this can make API calls to any open web APIs. This supports both HTTP and HTTPS protocols. Ok, let's see how it is done. Now let's switch back to our API server project. From here copy the API URL of the weather forecast method. And then switch back to the API web client project. Now Paste the copied API URL of the weather forecast method in the API address text box and click the create button. Perfect, we got the response JSON from the weather forecast API. So our API server and our API client are working fine. As I told you earlier, we can make calls to any open API server using our API web client project. So Click the back button and go back to the API address screen. Now let's make the API call to get the time of London using the external API server hosted at worldtimeapi.org. Yes, we got the response from the worldtimeapi.org server. So our API client and API server projects are working fine. Now the source code URL link will display. Please download the source codes and enjoy the project. See you sooner with JWT tokens and API CRUD. With this, I am completing this video. Before I sign off, I request you to subscribe and share this video. I would appreciate if you would like and subscribe to this channel so that you will be notified for all of the new videos that I will be posting. Thank you and bye for now.